Hello all and welcome back. This time to a walk through the aviary from one end to the other. As you can see in this video today, the weather was simply fantastic. And for that reason, I chose to release even uh, more of the birds into the aviary. This time, both finches and waxbills. But even before this release, many other birds was released. Today, we begin the tour in the end where there's a shelter for the birds. Here we have a white-eared bilbul, also known as an uh, Iraqi bilbul. Unfortunately, I only had this male as a female died last year. And down here, a pig and robin. This year, I'm trying with three pairs of pig and robins. It's a great bird with a truly amazing uh, song that you hear many times during the day. Here we have a diamond fire tail finch. Uh, I have two years this summer, and uh, one of the pairs already began to breed. Very often the finches try to build nests uh, in the shelter, so this year I tried to make a lot of extra nesting places. And I don't know which bird it is, but uh, someone have tried to build a very massive nest up here. And here we have a black widow bird uh, with a long tail, and it's actually going to get even longer. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any females for the male yet, but uh, hopefully that will come soon. During the last couple of days, I've added a lot of extra green plants to the aviary. Uh, that's perfect for the breeding. At the same time, the plants make it a bit more hard to see a lot of the minor birds uh, as these waxbills and finches. I know they're there because I hear them and I see them. And very often I film them on the videos, but sometimes they're very hard to find when I just take a walk through the aviary. But then again, uh, it's one of the fascinating things uh, in my view when having such a large aviary. Sometimes you see one species, sometimes another, but it's very rare you can find exactly the bird you're looking for. At least you don't find it straight away. And here we have a yellow crowned bishop, a weaver bird, one of the three uh, weaver uh, species I got. Actually, I'm becoming more and more uh, fond of the weaver birds. They're very interesting to watch. They have amazing colors and uh, not least, they have a very interesting uh, courtship display. And of course, then they, they built these wonderful nests hanging down from the rooftop in different plants throughout the aviary. It's still in the middle of the spring. So even though your temperatures are now getting up at around 15 degrees Celsius during the day, many of the plants haven't really uh, gone to flourish and bloom. Down here, we have a nest with two eggs, only one fertile. But that's okay. It's from the uh, red cardinals or the northern cardinals. Male have these fantastic uh, red colors and the black around his face. Wonderful birds and also a very interesting uh, song throughout the summer. Yes, the northern cardinal male is very bright in his color and very easy to see. I have several birds you don't see very often. One is this uh, European robin. Another is the female of the Sudan golden finch. Actually, very often I be believe her to be dead. Another is the white eyes. They're very lively and they go out hunting for insects throughout the aviary. But sometimes, uh, for days, I can't find any of them. Even though they are also quite small, the star finches and the long tail finches like to be in the top of the aviary, so you see them quite often. This is a nest from the village fever uh, constructor on the way. So not finished at all, but uh, I think tomorrow or the day after it will be finished. As I said before, I just planted a lot of new plants the last couple of days. Uh, many of them you can see here. Hopefully these will grow very well during the summer and make a shelter place for the birds to stay. Here we have the zebra finch, male, and the long tail finches. But the best way to watch the finches is to observe them sit quiet and calm and just see the birds come forward in the aviary. Up here we have a pair of the red crested cardinals. You'll see more to them later on. The moment I have three males and two females of the bearded reedlings or bearded tits. One pair out in the big aviary and at the moment they are feeding chicks in a nest but I haven't found the nest. But uh, it is somewhere I know. Usually, I only have one pair of uh, peking robins, but as I said, this year I have three pairs together, and so far it goes very well. 
Even though they eat some uh, seeds, it is a soft bill and they take quite a lot of insects and fruits throughout the year. But especially during breeding time, they need uh, lots and lots of insects. Here in the background, we have a pair of uh, village weavers uh, out in the nest I showed you before. The male putting on a display to attract the female. I got two pairs of uh, village weavers in the late summer last year, but I haven't tried to breed them yet, so hopefully it will succeed this year. The largest of the birds I got is the white cheeked tarago. It feeds mainly on fruits and pellets for soft bills, and is also a very interesting bird to have in a large aviary. It needs to be quite a large aviary. And in here, my white zebra finches uh, are building a nest, and as I showed you in my last video, my normal colored zebra finches are already on eggs, also in this aviary. Actually, Denmark is the oldest kingdom in the world, and today it is the birthday of our queen, Her Majesty the Queen uh, Margaret II, and consequently it's a, a national flag flying day. One of the birds I released today is the red siskin you see here. In the new part of the aviary last year, uh, the red systems also chose to build the nest in this part. All the weaver birds, males, especially the village weaver males, are constantly looking for new straws to build on the nests. And down here, we have one of my loose and bleeding heart doves. It's a ground dove and uh, spent most of its time uh, during the day on the ground. It's a very calm dove that doesn't annoy any of the other birds. Here we again have the red crested cardinals. I have two pairs, one pair outdoor and one pair indoor. The in pair door actually have uh, three uh, quite large chicks in the nest right now. They will fledge uh, within one week. The parish will continue to feed the chicks for 10 days, two weeks, but they will uh, start building a new nest and lay eggs again only a few days after these chicks have fledged. Another small bird we haven't uh, seen today is the Asia tit. I only have a male, so I'm looking for females. I have bred them successfully before, and I would very much like to do that again. So, as you can see, a lot is going on. The breeding season is really beginning to peak, both outdoor and indoor. And this will only get better as the summer approaches and we get more heat. Indoor, uh, I have three pairs of canary birds. Two are on eggs now, and the third pair is actually building, so uh, within a few days they will have eggs as well. As you perhaps saw in my last video, many more birds are breeding indoor. This includes uh, Gullian finches and red-eared parrot finches. I'll come back to this in my next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.